Alright, so this is a game that just ended. Uh, I think they said that White Ent won this. This is between two 7Qs. Um, let's see what happened in this game. Also, time settings. There was a 25 minutes on both sides, which is good. Hopefully that means we'll see some well thought out moves. Approach, approach, whatever, whatever. Don't care, don't care, don't care. So far it's fine. This makes no sense. I guess you're afraid of being surrounded in. But if you're afraid of that, just approach the corner. This doesn't give you any territory. It's sort of, you're just, if your group's fine, you're just making it more fine, which you really don't need to do. You'd much rather just approach them. Uh, okay. I don't know what Black's doing. You have the advantage here. You can make territory. But sure, uh, I think it looks, it feels like people circling around each other. This is also the same problem. This, this move... And this move are very similar. Your group was alive, and then you just gave it another one point or two points of territory. It's not really that useful. Um, there are bigger moves, especially in the opening, that you could be focusing on. All right, so you go after that. All right, so real quick before I go on. So right now, Black has two groups, A and probably B right here. A is relatively safe. B needs to get safe. Let's see what Black does. That. Run. And now Black. This is safe. And this is relatively safe. Good. So both of them sort of tanuki. White still isn't alive here, but it's alive enough. Go here. This is bad. This might be the start of a problem. Now, White might be thinking that it's a pain point, but, you know, obviously these are now two separate groups if Black punches through. And if Black punches through, that will be no bueno because Black can only take care of one of them. And they're both very weak. So, yeah, he pushes through. Let's see how long White took on this. See, white took was 2408. White played this immediately, which makes me wonder if it was really what white wanted, but whatever. They actually both played these moves immediately. Splitting, running, Atari. Black's playing actually pretty well here. Um, all of these moves make sense. This move makes a little bit less sense. Um, if you're attacking, you need to just keep up the attack. In fact, maybe getting this safe right here makes it better to go after this. Because right now, there's maybe one eye here. This is probably better because it pushes you out a little bit further and then allows you to come after stuff. Um, Obviously, you might be worried about him turning around, but you're just forcing this black stone into this pro area, and there are problems here. So, this one, you're pushing white into your own little cutting point problems. I don't like that as much. And you let him cut you. What? I don't know what black thought here. Um, sure. I mean, Black plays this almost immediately, so I don't know what he's thinking. But at this point, I would say Black should be in good standing because this is a strong group, this is a strong group, and this is in between them and has plenty of opportunities to run. Also, this was a weak group, so you want to keep this weak. You don't want to give it a reason to get stronger. Black does this move. This makes no sense. You already made one eye here, and you've got a second eye here. You're alive. You need to actually attack this group if you're black. Okay. Black is now running with this. This makes no sense. 
So both sides. White's now playing a more lo sound game, and Black just had a brain aneurysm or something. I forgot what he was trying to do. Okay, so Black's trying to attack White now. No, I actually don't know what Black's trying to do at all. This makes no sense. If you think about this in a very real way, the game is quickly approaching endgame because there's no way White's going to really do much else. The f big battle was what happened here. And um, I guess Black gave White an easy tick out, ticket out. Let's see if there's any other opportunities for Black to do anything. So actually, this is a good point to say. This is actually a good time for White to take, take in to see, like, counting territory. Um, just to see what he needs to do. Obviously, this is nice. White can probably get away with it. But if the balance of territory is such that he can just push Black down and make some territory... Uh, then he doesn't really need to expose himself to risk. This is where you would, might want to spend some time counting territory. Uh, let's see here. So White just jumps right in. And Black just gives him it. I mean, White got off easy in here. But then he also got a lot more than he should have. But it was the same idea as what I'm saying here. But yeah, there's there's things definitely that Black could do to try and force this heavier game. You know, a Kasumi here makes it more difficult for White, I think. Let's keep going. Black just got pushed down to the second, if not the first line here. Um, White eventually won this game. Uh, very easy to see why. White, Black is just sort of accepting a very bad trade. Now, obviously, White did give up the corner. So Black's only real territory is up here in the, on the side. Um, let's see what happens. End game, end game. Endgame. This game is slowly getting decided in Endgame. Um, yeah, if you see even with what happened here, White's able to ruin a lot of Black's territory with uh, Endgame runs. So, I think that's enough for this game. Uh, the big thing I would say, if anyone wanted to learn something from this, is uh, what happened with these weak groups over here. It sort of all started from this corner over here. Um, pretty simply, uh, after this, Black has a secure group here, and Black has a relatively secure group here. So, Black can either attack this or just keep making territory. What happened was, when this happened, Black must have gotten confused or scared about his weak groups. So, maybe he needed... If he wasn't secure enough about how he felt about this upper right group, maybe just make that safe initially. Because, I mean, if he, even if he does this, there's still plenty of time for him to mess with this group. And this group's still weak. Uh, this is sort of like the attack from strength. Get strong before attacking, that type of stuff. And even then, after this... Um, now black this is probably the most important move I would I would play um, because this attacks this and then whatever white does if white struggles this group gets stronger which makes let's use this so let's say so a b c and d so when b gets strong it affects a and then if a struggles and somehow lives then B and D are strong enough to attack C, which eventually affects E. Um, instead, Black does this crazy sequence that just gives up a ton of stones. And that's not good. It's just not good. 
it's not good go. And so once white gets strong here, it's sort of like black has nothing to do anymore. Other than maybe attack this. Um, but the problem is, he plays another move here, which I really don't understand. Um, but yeah, if black came around and tried to attack this, maybe there's something else to be gained. But with this, white would just have to try and run or scrounge around to live. Um, that's also just up to black and his ability. But yeah, that's about it. This whole game was sort of decided by this one fight. And uh, black lost the... Uh, idea of what he should be trying to do. So that's it for this game. Uh, hopefully that's helpful. Until the next random review, uh, peace out guys.